Well, happy Friday coming Community Church. Pastor Thomas here. I'm actually in the sanctuary, as you can see, getting ready to record uh, Sunday's sermon. Uh, so I hope you'll be able to uh, check that out on Sunday. Uh, it should be available uh, sometime early morning. And then, of course, check that out early. I'm actually going to make it available even earlier than I've done in the past. Uh, it's going to go up and available as early as 8 o'clock. Uh, that way you can watch early if you're an early riser uh, and then join us at 11 o'clock for our time of uh, Bible fellowship uh, through Google Meet. Now, I know there's been some confusion as to what Google Meet is. Basically, you've heard in the news a lot about Zoom. Well, this is Google's version of Zoom. So it's the same idea, the same technology. The big difference is, is that Zoom now costs money because of its popularity for what we need to use it for. Uh, and Google Meet is, uh, was and still is free for us. So uh, that's why I went with that, trying to be a good steward of uh, the church's resources. And we went with uh, Google Meet. So you can download an app um, on your phone if you like. But if you have a, a laptop uh, that has a webcam and a microphone uh, in it, which most laptops do, all you have to do is in the email that I send out is click that link. It will take you to the to a web page. You click join, and suddenly you're in uh, the meeting, uh, ready to go. And we can see you, and you can see us. For those of us that, that do that, I know it's awkward to do that, but there is something about being able to see one another uh, right now. So I encourage you to join uh, that. Of course, prayer meeting next Wednesday. Thanks to those who came out this week. Uh, the other thing that I do want to mention before we take our continuing look at James is you should be receiving in your email or excuse me, in your um, in your physical mail, your snail mail, a letter in your newsletter. So it'll have the uh, newsletter, the regular May newsletter, but we'll also have a, an update, an operational update. The condensed version of that is that uh, the leadership team uh, agrees that it's not wise at this time to open. We've looked at some other options to gather that would still allow some social distancing, and we just did not feel as though any of those were practical. Um, I might have been a little more gung-ho on some of those than the rest of the team, so I'm grateful for my uh, leadership team who uh, helps keep uh, everything. It's, it's good to have a, a group of people making these decisions rather than just one person. So I want to give a shout out and a thank you to my leadership team as well. So um, just to update you on that, through the month of May, we're going to keep doing what we've been doing since this all started. We are going to then uh, evaluate this. Um, on a regular basis and uh, probably let you know toward the end of the month what our plans are for the next period of time, whether that be a month at a time or a couple of weeks at a time. A lot's going to depend on how things shake out. Right now, uh, the reality is, is that um, we are an older congregation. I don't say that. I love you guys, so I want you to know that's not me. Uh, trying to make fun of anyone. I hope you realize that. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we have a lot of vulnerable people. Not just that, we have younger people that are vulnerable too. So we want to be sensitive to that. So I appreciate your patience, appreciate your understanding. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact me um, or anyone else on the leadership team. We'll be happy to discuss that. So with all the announcements out of the way, um, I want to take a moment now. Let's dive into uh, James and uh, we'll take a look and see what uh, we can learn from word, God's word today. So I'll read, I'll pray, and then we'll talk. James chapter one, we're in verse 19 and we'll read through verse 21. Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger, for the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Therefore, put away all filthiness and rampant wickedness and receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your soul. Let's pray together. Gracious God, I pray today that you would help us to uh, put away that which is unpleasing to you. And instead, would you impart to us your living word so that we may walk in holiness for your sake and for our sake and for the sake of those around us. We thank you for all that you're doing, Jesus. It's in your name we pray. Amen. 
Well, as we look at our text today, we see that uh, James is continuing to talk to the 12 tribes of the dispersion. And in this, he says that every person in this group, and, and I'm going to just say this, that I think these texts lend themselves also then to coming and applying to us. So that we don't have to do a great amount of hurdle jumping to apply these texts to us uh, today. Uh, but know this, my beloved brothers, that we should be people that are quick to hear. Hearing isn't just registering audibly. Whenever we see the word hear in scripture, Jesus even said that let him who have ears, let him hear. So there are people that not just have sounds go in their ears and let it register in the brain, but let it take root and have them apply that to their lives. So we need to be people that are quick to listen, to understand what is being said. We need to be people who are slow to speak. Now that is a, that would, I would extend that to things like Facebook and Twitter, that we, that we should be people who are slow to speak when people post things. Not everything needs a comment. Not everything needs a response. And slow to anger. Friends, I've seen a lot of anger, not so much here within our fellowship, but I've sensed a great amount of frustration and anger in all that's going on in the world around us. And I think that that is because we're, we're frustrated. We're, we're a little scared. We're, our, our nerves and our anxiety levels are high. Let's be people who, according to this word, are slow to become anger and that our anger only comes from righteous reasons. The reason that we are to do all this isn't just that we are to be good people, but James draws the attention then that this sort of anger does not produce the righteousness of God. You know, righteousness and our pursuit of holiness is this funny thing because on one hand, it's God working in us. But yet at the same time, we participate in what God is doing. And so there is this... Um, this relationship on how we grow in holiness. We have a responsibility just as God is building and working in us. So his solution is simple. Put away all filthiness and rampant wickedness and receive with meekness the imparted word, which is able to save our soul. Christians are to be humble people. We should be the first to admit, hey, we don't have all the answers but we know the one who does. So let us go forward now, not just putting away the bad things, but humbly accepting what God has given to us in his word, the thing that is able to save our soul because it tells us about the blood of Jesus Christ. Well, I hope that this finds you well on Friday or whenever you may be watching this. Um, I will be coming back to you, of course, on Sunday morning with our worship time and uh, hope that you're able to join us then. In the meantime, I'm praying for you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your week and beginning of your weekend. And I really do encourage you to come and join us on Sunday. Uh, it'll be a great time. Have a good rest of your day. God bless.